Are you tired of being codependent? Have you ever wondered why you're always cheating? Huh? Why do you have to always mother everyone you date? I understand. The biggest problem usually is people choose the wrong person. Are you ready to find out the truth? Uh, yes. In just one video, you'll understand what you're looking for in love and what you offer. You send us your date of birth, we send you a custom video that's all about you. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the love and lust report. Find out your birthday secrets today, available online at secretsofbirthdays.com. Humanitarians and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I am your host to reality, Christopher Watecki. Well, we are blazing through 2012. Happy birthday. I haven't said it recently. It is your birthday period. The sun is in Aquarius. And before we get to Valentine's Day, we're going to do a little favor for our viewers. We're running a Secrets of Birthday special. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or not, because we're going to go ahead and give you your Secrets of Birthdays and throw in a love interest. That means you can run your boss, you can run your neighbor, you can run anyone you have a crush on, or you can run the person you're actually dating. That happens sometimes. <laughs> but usually people are buying them when they want to find love. So secretsofbirthdays.com will take you right to Soul Mart, get two for the price of one. And we have launched the new Guardian Agency with texting business. This is not just a horoscope texted to you. This is me actually watching over you. We have your dates of birth on file and we send you text based on who you are. I'll be talking about it through the horoscopes. They're all melted together now but uh, thank you for those who've signed up and if you haven't it's gatext.me well I also want to bring up our mothership I don't know if you know this we got a whole community of freaky deaky thinkers just like you at soulgarden.me forward slash Aquarius we even have an Aquarius writer uh, and I think actually it was a, some sort of story this week I saw go by it has to do with uh, uh, keeping your ego on a leash uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one for you, Aquarius. I think you should go there and watch it or read about it. Soulgarden.me forward slash Aquarius and read what we're talking about in the news about you. Now, it is your birthday period. As we move on through it, we're in chapter two now as we start off this week on Monday. On Monday, the sun is at 10 degrees, and that means you are starting the second chapter, the next 10-day cycle or next decan of this spiritual transit. If you're just finding us at Soulgarden, welcome. The Aquarius are working on their ego state of awareness. Ego is only one twelfth of our soul, although looking at some people you'd think it was everything, right? That's because they have not developed the other states of awareness. But when it is our birthday period, we are upgrading our ego state of awareness. That's the part of our consciousness that defends us, that represents us. It's our personality. It's our charisma. Do you speak up? Do you act? Do you not act? These are all the questions of an ego consciousness. And as we start off on Monday, the sun will be in chapter two. So this means you are holding space for what you leave don't want to be. That's what the last 10 days were. I don't want to uh, throw jokes in offices, in the office. I don't want to be seen as the wimpy kid. You were figuring out what you didn't want in the first 10 days. Now as we move into chapter 2, we're holding space at least for what we don't want. And with the moon in Taurus, you'll be extra sensitive about self-nurturing. Jupiter down here in Taurus is blazing forward saying, hey, Aqua, the only way you're going to be grounded and strong on the planet is if you learn to nurture your own emotions, to be your own mother, to ground your own self. That will be, I guess, a little highlighted as the moon crosses Jupiter. So Monday might be kind of a big day of needing self-nurturing or it could be a big step in taking self-nurturing. Again, where does your ego get in the way or not get in the way? And also, look at this. Jupiter is temporarily trining Pluto up in Capricorn. So as you move into more self-nurturing, that means you have to let go of the past and you have to let go of old fears. That's what that means. So it is a dynamic move. Now, moving on to Tuesday, it's actually a healing day on Tuesday. And if you didn't nest and rest on Monday, you definitely want to do it. on Tuesday. There's a strong Virgo vibration on planet Earth. The moon is still grounding you in Taurus with your house of home, family, and foundation. The other thing I want to point out is this interesting Neptune-Saturn trine. Now, Saturn's at 29 degrees Libra. That means it's at the final degree of belief structure transformation. The universe has said to Aquarius, says, okay, here's everything you should consider when it comes to philosophy and religion. And Saturn is going to take a stop and go backwards in about a week. So you're at the tippy toes of coming to some sort of realization 
it, some sort of uh, you know, pinnacle of understanding. That tippy toe is also trining to your new ego. Neptune has been giving you a God consciousness ego with Neptune in your energy for a long time. And it's about to hop over into Pisces and stay there, which means the universe is not going to give your ego any more whispers or clues about what you should do. Your little clue guy is leaving. So in this final moment, there's going to be some sort of shift, I believe, with this, where you are understanding belief structure as it relates to ego. Maybe you're the tough guy because you believed you had to be. Those sorts of connections. Now Wednesday, things actually get a little bit more expansive. The moon is still in Taurus. So this might be a day where you don't want to get out of bed, but you should. You're kind of tired, but you don't want to be moving forward. One of those sorts of days, that's when the moon is in the tippy toes of that. But the sun is ruled by Jupiter, so it's really a day of expansive learning. Great day to take your ego out shopping. Great day to go shopping for a birthday present for yourself. Great day to open yourself up to new ways of putting your ego out. Out there. So new haircut, new wardrobe, new style, new way of responding to your boss being a jerk. Try something new. Trying new will help you feed where this might go and how you might grow. The other thing is this Mars Venus opposition comes to a head on Wednesday, a big head. Now Mars is going retrograde, it's moving backwards, right? And Venus is moving forward. And at this magical moment, they catch each other and make eye contact. What does that mean for you? Well, on the Venus end, it means you are receiving to op you are opening to receiving abundance and everything in new ways. So opening up. In other words, your uh, gifts, your when God gives you a uh, miracle, it's going to come through a door you're not used to. You're going to have to be open to receiving it a way you're not used to receiving it. That's what Venus says. And in order to pull that off, uh, says Mars, you're going to have to move backwards on some sort of a boundary issue. All right. That's how it's all going to come together. So that comes to a head. Now here's cool. This is what GA is cool for. On Wednesday, I've asked the agency to send out two personal texts to go back to your date of birth. So for those who are watched over by me, I'll send you a text first that talks about your chart and what it takes for you to surrender your ego according to your personality. So beyond an Aquarius, we're talking about you. And the second, we'll talk about Venus and how you personally, spiritually, according to your natal chart, are able to receive. Those are a couple of clues that probably help you with that opposition if you're watched over. On Thursday, You'll probably enjoy the day. The rest of the world is going through breakdown, but Uranus, your home planet, rules the day. This might be the smile on your face while well, everyone's frowning sort of day, but it's a day where you might in innovate your ego. You might finally get it. There'll be some sort of innovation and opportunity. That's certainly a day on Thursday to keep an eye on the people you come across in the moment because they could be magical. This is one of those days where a stranger could have a treasure of message for you or treasure otherwise of opportunity. The moon will be moving into Gemini. That helps you because emotions now shift finally out of self nurturing and into inner child. So you are playful on Thursday. Your home planets rule in the day. It's a fun day. Also notice the sun and moon are trining that day. So your awareness, your ego are working in total harmony with your inner child and your creativity. Thursday is a great day for you. Then Friday, my favorite show, Friday. We're going to talk about this. we got Friday shows coming back, but before I do that, let's talk about you. Uh, the moon will continue in the house of inner child. So Friday is also a playful day, although not as playful. Your home planet isn't ruling. Friday is a real day of getting it. In fact, your inner child is going to come to a minor epiphany. Look at this. We have a soul pyramid in air that day between the moon down in Gemini up to Neptune in your sign and over to Saturn in Libra. All right? So this combined effort is your belief structure finally gets something. It ties into your ego that finally gets something. And who is the clue? The clue is your inner child. Your inner child and your emotions are going to add something to these ingredients that we talked about earlier in the week, and I think you finally have that shift on Friday. And GA will be with texting you to remind you of that. Also, I have a good announcement. We're coming with a new show on Friday called SG Live. I actually had this show a while ago in the old studio. We finally got everything together. This is our way of getting together with the viewers. We're having interviews, and we take calls, and I do readings, and we have live psychics and wacky people from, from Soul Garden, and we talk about stuff. We talk about politics, and uh, come on down. It is Designed so that you can uh, waste time at work, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. It is free and it's at soulgarden.me forward slash live. It's webcam, live radio, and there's a live chat room. And come on down and hang out with us. It's going to be fun. Now, for the Aquas on the weekend, it's a pretty decent weekend. I think uh, Saturday is more fun than Sunday. Either way, it's a hyper weird weekend. The moon now moves into Cancer, which is for you, your body, and the way you plug into reality. So your emotions are moody. Your health affects your emotions. Your health, uh, emotions affect your health. Uh, uh, the sun will be kind of just processing. Again, it's a creative day and it's a spiritual day on Sunday. Neptune will rule the day, so it's a very spiritual day. But one thing I want to point out, Jupiter now moves to three degrees over the weekend. This means it is time to move forward with 
self-nurturing. So if you have a plan to get a new bed, if you have a plan to change your house, if you have a plan to get comfier sheets, if you have a plan to eat only organic food, this is the time. Jupiter will finance it, but you have to say, I want it and move forward and take steps. So if you're feeling lousy with this hyperware on the weekend, remember Jupiter is there to make you feel better if you so engage. All right, Aquarius, that's all I have for this week, Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I will either text you within the hour if you're watched over by me, or I will see you in seven days. But either way, you know the catchphrase, live, love, be.